In the previous episode, we saw that Falker, the god of destruction of Universe Zero, questions Goku and Vegeta's potential to defeat Zeno, the supreme ruler. In contrast, Vegeta and Goku show distrust about the fate of the universes after the mission and worry about a possible divine tyranny. Mead and Daishinkan reveal that before Zeno and Zalama, there was balance and peace, and with Zeno's victory, Mead's children were transformed into angels for each universe, but a rebellion resulted in the elimination of six of them. Using fusion, Goku and Vegeta fight Falker to prove their worth. Gogeta surprises by almost defeating the God of Destruction but the fusion breaks, leaving the two exhausted and vulnerable. Falker reveals that, although they have proven their worth, the disease will not allow them to triumph against Zeno. However, Beerus and Bulma discover that the poison does not affect hybrid Saiyans due to human antibodies, but Goku, Vegeta and Broly can be revived with the Dragon Balls in the future. Mead then decides to release the maximum potential of Zenkai in Goku and Vegeta, temporarily regenerating their strength for the final battle. Determined, Goku and Vegeta are ready for a battle that can redefine the balance of the universe cosmos once and for all. Will Goku and Vegeta have the power necessary to defeat Zeno? Well, we will see this and much more in this new episode of our Dragon Ball Ultra Saga. The battle was about to begin, Daishinkan was ready to bring everyone, allies and enemies alike, to Universe Zero. However, Wiss was still worried about some details about Zeno. Wiss then asked, Wait a minute, Dad. Zeno is very powerful, and there are two of them, I understand that here they are further away from the universe created by them and will soon become even weaker, but isn't it still dangerous? And if they simply decide to destroy Universe Zero, we will all be eliminated, so how do you intend to deal with the maximum destruction power of universes that the Zenus possess? Daishinkan then answers, that's very simple, my son. They can't destroy Universe Zero. Daishinkan's answer shocked Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta asked, what do you mean? I saw Zeno destroy Future Trunks' reality very easily. So why couldn't he destroy Universe Zero too? Confident, Daishinkan then replied, when Zeno destroyed that alternate reality, only the Zeno of that reality survived, because a Zeno cannot kill himself. In other words, he replicated himself even in alternate realities. Of course, this was not a plan he had in mind, it only happened after the rupture of the creation of the new Cosmo Universe from Universe Zero. In other words, the power to decimate a reality or an entire universe that Zeno possesses only works in realities or Cosmo Universes in which he possesses some fragment of his power or of himself. Mead then said, that is why we are going to bring them here. Zeno cannot destroy Universe Zero because he was not the creator of this universe. Daishinkan then said, Exactly, my dear wife. Here we are going to separate into quadrants, each team will face their enemy in one of these quadrants, in this way we will further reduce their effectiveness, whether in numbers or in power. My wife and I will face future Zeno in the North Quadrant, Broly, Goku and Vegeta will face main Zeno in the South Quadrant, while Falker will lead the Gods of Destruction to face the Guards in the West Quadrant. One thing I didn't explain before, but I'll say it now, Wiss, you and your brothers will take care of the Master Planet and the people who live here. There are four planets here in Universe Zero, but the only one that is populated is the Master Planet where we are, which is in the East Quadrant. In other words, you must protect the Master Planet from the shockwaves of battles or surprise attacks. Wiss replied, Okay. I understand everything now. We're ready. Daishinkan began to summon everyone to Universe Zero, but because the distance and time were different for each location, Daishinkan had to calculate how long each teleportation would take. In this way, the angels were summoned first to take up their posts, after which Daishinkan summoned the two Zenus who came with the guards as always. And so, both Zenus and the guards finally appeared on the master planet of Universe Zero. Prime Zeno-sama then said, what is happening? 
Why did you summon us to this place, Daishinkan? Furious, Mead said, to end you once and for all. Future Zeno-sama then said, and us? You have no idea what we can do, don't you? Daishinkan began to remember the absurd games that both Zenus played with the planets. Daishinkan then said, then try it. Here you have no power whatsoever. At that moment, both Zenus raised their hands to erase Universe Zero, but nothing happened, which made them both furious. Furious, Prime Zenosama asked, what is this? What did you do? Daishinkan then replied, I didn't do anything, you did it yourselves. And now get ready because the end has come for you. Goku and Vegeta who were just watching everything, simply disappeared before everyone's eyes. Soon after, Prime Zeno also disappeared. The guards were confused, as they could not track their masters in that universe until they also disappeared and found themselves in a strange place before Falker and all the gods of destruction. Now it's our turn, Daishinkan said. Just like the others, future Zeno disappeared from Planet Master along with Daishinkan and his wife. At that moment, each team was ready to face their respective opponents in the resigned quadrants. South Quadrant Goku and Vegeta waited until Prime Zeno appeared, and it didn't take long for that to happen. Furious, Prime Zeno-sama said, You traitor. I thought you were my friend, Goku. Do you really think you can beat me? Goku then replied, I confess that I am very merciful, I have had many enemies throughout my life. And thanks to you, we are alive today, after all, we are part of your creation. However, just because you are a god or something like that doesn't give you the right to play with people's lives. You should take care of them, protect them, and that's why you must perish. Damn you! I'm going to end you! Zeno said, charging towards Goku and Vegeta. However, like a green ray, Broly appears from the sky and hits Zeno with a powerful punch, throwing him to the ground, opening a huge crater. Vegeta then said, you finally arrived, Broly. Broly then replied, this will be our last fight, so let's not take it easy. Goku, Vegeta and Broly transform and use their most powerful form to face Zeno, who stood up and aimed a piercing look of fury at the three Saiyans. Finally, the most epic battle of all has begun. Goku, Vegeta and Broly were perplexed to see Zeno like that. Zeno had finally revealed his true form, his true nature, his true power. His body was like the cosmos universe itself. The aura that Zeno emanated was as if the energy of all the galaxies, black holes and everything that exists in the universe were united in a single micropoint. It really was a divine power in all its splendor. Zeno says, do you think you are the only ones who can transform? In fact, it is thanks to my ability to evolve and transform that you Saiyans and other races can do it too. All of you are ungrateful. You are only alive because of my will and now you turn against me? Maybe Zalama was right on this point, he shouldn't have created so many unworthy beings. I must put an end to this. Broly replied, I didn't understand a word that guy just said, but your power is astonishing. If you have a plan, well, you better use it now. Let's use fusion. Goku and Vegeta answered at the same time. Broly then asked, Fusion? Wait a minute. Broly began to remember the fight he had against Goku and Vegeta when they first met. At that time, 
Broly was still under the control of his father who was plotting alongside Frieza. Broly said, that was amazing. I don't know if it will work against this guy, but I'm here to help. Goku then replied, please Broly, buy us some time. Meanwhile, in the other quadrants, the gods of destruction were having a great advantage and one of Zeno's guards had already succumbed. In the fight between Daishinkan and Mead against future Zeno, things were more difficult, but Mead was willing to lose her own life if it would result in victory against Zeno. Returning to the main fight, Broly agreed to buy time so that the fusion could be completed while Vegeta had an interesting question to ask. Vegeta then asked, wouldn't it have been better to have gotten new pot era earrings? Happy, Goku replied, I'm glad you changed your mind about fusing with me over time, Vegeta. However, now that we're at our maximum potential unlocked, I don't believe that the pot era fusion would make that much of a difference. And in the end, we're going to perish at the end of this fight, so we shouldn't worry about it. Vegeta gave Goku a look of admiration in a way that he had only done in the battle against Majin Buu. Vegeta once again realized that his greatest rival and also his best friend was a person who was always motivated to do his best, even if the chances of victory were low. You guys are pathetic, do you really think I'm going to allow something like that? I feel like you've changed, you're so powerful that you could become a problem for me. That woman did something to you, didn't she? Well, it's time for you to go back to being what you were before. Nothing. Zeno said furiously. Zeno then charged towards the three Saiyans, but Broly took the lead and went towards Zeno. The clash between the two made the heavens tremble. Broly said, this is the technique I learned from Gohan. Masenko. Broly attacked Zeno with the same technique he learned in training with Gohan, a technique that Goku's son had learned from Piccolo many years ago. A powerful blast of green energy was launched towards Zeno, who countered it with an equally powerful blast of energy, resulting in a great explosion. You bastard, can't you see that you're just delaying the inevitable, why don't you just get out of my way? Zeno shouted furiously. Broly then replied, as a Saiyan warrior, I have to protect my friends. Zeno then replied, then as a Saiyan warrior, you will die with your friends. Galaxy Extinction Zeno uses his most powerful attack, which hits Broly at such an absurd speed that Saiyan had no way to dodge or fight back. Broly is finally defeated. Zeno then says, amazing, he's so resilient that he didn't die from my attack. But it doesn't matter, he's out of the game. Now it's time to deal with those two idiots. As Broly fell to the ground practically unconscious, his last words before hitting the ground were, I leave the rest to you, my friends, my Saiyan brothers. Now it's your turn, get ready. Zeno said furiously. However, when he looked up, an orange glow filled the night sky of that planet. Finally the fusion was ready and the all-powerful warrior Gogeta appeared. Damn, too late. They did it. Zeno shouted. The fusion between Supreme Goku and Supreme Vegeta has finally happened. This time, with his maximum potential unleashed, Ultra Supreme Gogeta finally emerges, the most powerful fusion of all time. All the battles are at their peak, the end is approaching, what will be the result of this conflict? Gogeta and Zeno stare at each other, both were ready to take each other's lives. Until finally the fight begins. In that dark, starry sky, the battle between Gogeta and Zeno explodes with an intensity that transcends comprehension. The two combatants move at such absurd speeds that only flashes and impacts resound in the silent night. Each blow struck echoes like distant thunder, and can be heard in all the other quadrants. The tension grows, as both know that this physical confrontation is only the prelude to something much greater. The fight reaches its climax as both combatants retreat into the air, preparing their ultimate techniques. Gogeta gathers all his ki into a final Kamehameha. On the other side, Zeno stretches his hands forward and invokes his devastating technique, Divine Punishment. A glowing sphere of divine energy forms in his hands, pulsating with the power of millions of universes. As the two attacks are launched, time seems to stop. The two blasts collide in the center of the sky, and the impact creates an unimaginable shockwave. For a brief moment, the light from the explosion rivals that of a big bang, blotting out the brightness of the nearest stars. The energy generated distorts the space around them, creating dimensional rifts. When the light finally dissipates, Gogeta and Zeno remain floating, but unharmed. The fight ceased, not due to a lack of strength, 
but due to a silent understanding between the two, both had surpassed the limit of the impossible by having reached the peak of the power of an existence. Zeno then said, it's incredible how powerful you are, how could I have been so naive? How could I not have realized that little worms were becoming lions right under my feet? Gogeta then replied, well, maybe that arrogance was passed on to us, the Saiyans. We suffered from that arrogance and hubris because we thought we were invincible, but as time went by we changed, after all, today we know that there is nothing and no one that cannot be defeated in the Cosmo Universe. But know that it was Daishinkan, he had all the truth from you by placing you inside a barrier that prevented you from seeing and feeling with precision everything that happened in the Twelve Universes. Your castle was your own trap, time passes differently in that place, that way you would never be able to follow the evolution of all the people. In other words, Daishinkan confirmed what he had always wanted since you annihilated his children. You are not omnipresent and omnipotent. You are defeatable. You are mortal. Zeno was furious with the words spoken by Gogeta. As much as Saiyan was right, that was the greatest affront Zeno had suffered in his entire life. Those words hit him harder than the children of Daishinkan and Mead in the angelic rebellion that occurred millennia ago. Damn you, so you discover the truth? And what does that change? Even if you defeat me, even if you take my life, this will never end. Do you know why? I tried to create a strong and powerful Cosmo Universe, but you want to end it. Zeno said furiously. Confused, Gogeta then asked, what are you talking about? Have you gone crazy? Zeno then replied, do you think that there is only the Cosmo Universe that I created? Do you believe that Salama and I came from the same place? Wake up! There are things and beings out there that are more powerful and frightening than me or Zalama. We arrived in the universe of Daishinkan and Mead by luck. You are not prepared to face what exists beyond this universe and the Cosmo universe created by me. And does that give you the right to annihilate whoever you want for pure pleasure? You played with the lives of many people, even though they were created by you. Gogeta said. Zeno then replied. I wanted to create strong people, and that weakened me. That is why I was looking for a solution to this dilemma, but I never found it. I wanted to create independent beings, but unfortunately that will never happen, because I am always connected to everything I created. Gogeta then replied, well, there is a form of this connection that exists between everyone in the cosmos universe and you cease to exist. Either we cease to exist or you cease to exist. Zeno then replied, exactly. Suddenly Zeno felt even more powerful and Gogeta could feel the increase in so much energy. Gogeta then said, it seems that Daishinkan and Mead did it. They defeated the other Zeno, despite no longer feeling the divine key of Daishinkan's wife. And I believe that Felker and the gods of destruction also defeated the guards, everyone seems to be fine. In other words, now I am more powerful and the mother of all angels is gone forever. That means this is the end. You can no longer defeat me. Replied Zeno with a tone of superiority. Gogeta then said, again all that arrogance, all that arrogance. The mother of all angels is not gone, she is with me. At that moment, Mead's spirit appeared in Gogeta's mind, she then explained that she did this by giving part of her power to Goku and Vegeta the moment she recovered both of their strength and unlocked their full potential. She also revealed that she knew that in order to defeat Zeno once and for all, both versions of him had to be defeated, but future Zeno had to die first, which is why Mead sacrificed herself. Now that his spirit had awakened in Gogeta's body, it was time to finish Prime Zeno once and for all. His spirit would disappear once Goku and Vegeta broke the fusion. Goku and Vegeta then thanked Mead for the trust she had placed in them. Gogeta then said, the time has come to put an end to all this injustice once and for all. Get ready, Zeno, it's your end. Zeno then replied, pathetic. How do you intend to do that now that I'm even more powerful? Gogeta charged up all his energy, put his hands together, and exclaimed. With that, Ultra Final Kamehameha. Ultra Gogeta's energy blast was overwhelming. Zeno could feel Mead's power in that attack, and Zeno was paralyzed. He understood that nothing he could do would change the fate of that attack. It was finally the end of Zeno forever. What will everyone in the Cosmo Universe react to? Will Daishinkan's wife never return? Who are the beings that Zeno and Zalama feared so much? Well, we'll see that in the next episode of, Dragon Ball Ultra.